All right, we're going to look at um, three examples of solving uh, rational equations. And uh, just like with uh, equations that had fractions in them, the first thing we wanted to do is we wanted to eliminate the fractions, which meant we would want to uh, multiply by the least common multiple. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to note my restrictions, because we don't like to divide by 0. So I would say x plus 3 couldn't be 0, and uh, x minus 3 can't be 0. So that gives me two restrictions. x can't be minus 3, and x can't be uh, positive 3. So I'm going to go ahead and note those restrictions. If I go through and I solve my equation and I get an answer of 3 or minus 3, I'm going to throw it out because it's no good, because it's ex we would call it extraneous. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and note those restrictions up in the right-hand corner. So x cannot equal plus and minus 3. And uh, like when we were adding and subtracting the rational expressions, we need to know what the common denominator is, or the LCM. Here it's going to be x plus 3, x minus 3. And just like what we did before, we're going to clear the fractions by multiplying everybody by the uh, LCM. And uh, so all this week and next week, you'll, you'll be doing a lot of practice multiplying rational expressions, so you'll be real good at this. Okay. So multiply both sides by x plus 3, x minus 3, all over 1. Uh, for the first one, um, on the left-hand side, the x plus 3s will cancel. And we'll be left with 6 times x, which is 6x. 6 times 3 is 18. Uh, equals... And then the x minus 3's will cancel, and we'll have 4 times x, 4x, 4 times 3 is 12. And this is just a regular equation that you can solve. Uh, we'll move all the x's over to the left, so we'll subtract 4x. And then we'll add 18 to both sides. So we will have 2x is equal to 30. And we'll divide both sides by 2, and x is going to be equal to 15. And I check that with my restrictions. It's not one of my uh, bad values. We're good to go. That's my solution. And then if I want to, I can plug it in and see if it works, but uh, I'll let you do that on your own. And uh, we'll move on to another one. So let's say we want to solve 2 over 3x plus 1 over 4 equals 11 over 6x minus 1 over 3 and here x cannot be 0 so what I have here is I have 3x cannot be 0 so I divide by 3 and x cannot be 0 similarly 6x can't be 0 so I divide both sides by 6 x can't be 0 there okay so that's my restriction so if I go through the whole process and I get an answer of 0 uh, we're going to say that's what's called extraneous, or it means it's a solution that doesn't work. All right, so my LCM here is, we're going to do 3, 4, and 6. And that LCM is 12, and then we just got to put an X on there, because we have a denominator with, with X's in there, so we need to find what that LCM is, and it has some, to be 12X. So everybody gets multiplied by 12X over 1. Because they're all fractions, we're going to do 12X over 1. And then it's just going to be uh, four multiplication problems, and we're just going to cross-cancel and reduce each one. The first one, 3 goes into 12 four times. The x's will cancel, and you'd be left with 4 times 2, which is 8. The next one, 4 goes into 12 three times. We're left with 3 times x equals 6 goes into 12 twice, the x is cancel, we're left with 2 times 11, which is 22. 3 goes into 12 four times, so we're left with a 4x. Alright, so there was one kind of yucky step where we had to deal with a lot of fractions. Now, something pops out that's pretty nice, and we're going to get all the x's on one side, so we're going to add 4x to both sides. And uh, we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. So we have 7x is equal to 14. We'll divide both sides by 7. x is going to be equal to 2. I checked that with my restriction. It's not 0, so we're good to go. Happy times. Um, 
we can plug two in and check if we wanted to, but I'll let you do that on your own. And we'll move on to one more. So let's say we want to solve 2 over x squared minus 1 equals 4 over x plus 1. So we're going to go ahead and have to factor here so I can find out what my LCM is. So x squared minus 1 is x minus 1, x plus 1. That's our difference of squares. And then we have our other uh, denominator of x plus 1. So our LCM is just going to be x minus 1, x plus 1. And that's what we're going to multiply everybody by. So x minus 1, x plus 1, all over 1. And then on the other side of the equation, x minus 1, x plus 1, all over 1. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and factor that denominator. 2 over x squared minus 1 becomes 2 over x minus 1, x plus 1 equals 4 over x plus 1 times that x minus 1 over x plus 1. Okay, so nice stuff happens. Everything on the left cancels but the 2. On the right, the x plus 1's cancel, and we'll have 4 times x, and then 4 times 1. We'll add 4 to both sides, and then we will uh, divide by 4 and reduce, and we get 3 halves. I forgot to mention, uh, I got it carried away with this one, but our restrictions are x cannot equal plus and minus 1. And uh, our answer of 3 halves is neither one of those, so we're good to go. Happy times, we've made it. Now one thing we got to be careful of is we need to pay attention to the instructions. So I see it all the time when we're asked to add or subtract some rational expressions. Students try to uh, do the clearing the fractions, what we're doing here. So you only want to do that if, if we're solving. So just be careful what the, uh, and be mindful what the instructions are asking you to do.